Did you know the earth acts like a giant magnet, behaving somewhat as if it has a powerful bar magnet at its center? Just as a bar magnet has two poles, where its attraction is the strongest, so does the earth. And its two magnetic poles are near the two geographical poles, north and south. A magnet is an object or material that attracts certain metals, such as iron, nickel and cobalt. All magnets have north-seeking and south-seeking poles. Remember, almost all commercially available magnets are marked for the north-seeking pole, just like this compass. Now, we shall float this bar magnet on water and see how it aligns itself. We will need a bowl of water, a float, a bar magnet and a magnetic compass. First, place the float on water. Place the bar magnet on the float. Allow it to settle. The magnet turns the float and settles in a particular direction. Note the directions. Pick the magnet and turn it around and see what happens. The float turns again and settles in the same direction. When you compare the alignment of a bar magnet with that of the needle of a compass, they are similar. Both lie in the north-south direction. Now we know all magnets have north-seeking and south-seeking poles. A freely suspended magnet always aligns itself in north-south direction. This property of magnets is used to make compasses that are used for locating directions. A compass consists of a freely suspended magnet. So when we align the north on the dial of a compass with the north on the magnetic needle, the other directions, east, west and south, are identifiable. Get yourself a compass and find out the direction of the moon rise and moon set or say which direction is the wind blowing today.